All right, so good morning, good evening, or good night on how you guys are doing. Today it's part four. Sorry on the length of the uploads. Uh, been fairly busy, but hopefully I can get back into it with maybe twice a week if I can really get into it. Without further ado, though, June 5th, 1953. Dear folks, not much new. We went to the rifle range again. My arm is still sore. We get to shoot another shot tomorrow. We have just been about a week and three days into the primary training. Boy, will I be glad to get out of here. Say, if you've not already sent it, please send camera, film, and some of those refills for my lighter. With it, send that ditty bag. You know, the little one with the white bag in my drawer somewhere. I want to use it and put my extra shoes in it so they won't get my clothes dirty. As soon as you send the camera, I'll be able to send some pictures home. Sorry to hear the kids are still sick. Now that I am well on schedule, I don't mind this boot camp. I got my dress blue jumper back from the tailors. It had been taken up. They also sued one of my two stripes on it. When I get to come home, I'll have two of those things. I am now a seaman recruit. and When I come home, I'll be a seaman apprentice. Well, I better sign off for now. June 6, 1953. Dear folks, well, today's another day. I is gone and I'm tired. We got another shot and my arm is killing me. How about sending me that camera ditty bag and those lighter refills? As soon as you send me them, I'll be able to get some pictures home. We had a brigade drill this morning. This is where all the companies in the regiment are on the grinder. All they do is different exercises with the rifles, and we march and review with the band. It is damn pretty. Out of 40 companies, they picked uh, three companies for the finals for the competition. For winning the winning of the early chow flag, if you win it, you'll get a pass to pass all other companies and go to chow first. Well, today was our first day out there. We were one of the three finals. I swear to tell the truth, we damn near won the flag, but those other two companies were more experienced and were a hell of a lot better, so they won it. We raised the hell out of them because the new company, us, was in competition with them. They are sure a lot of fighters here, damn near one every night. Well, I bear close now. So right soon, love Lewis. P.S. Send me Temp's address. June 6, 1953. Dear folks, well today is about gone. It is Sunday. I went to 9:45 mass. At the beginning, the priest explained that all the vestments meant, and it was pretty interesting. Tomorrow we'll have a brigade drill and another bag inspection. In the afternoon, we'll go to a small arms and shoot the 22 rifle. We'll be out of this damn primary training in one week. Boy, will I be glad to have all my clothes rolled and all my work done. Most of these guys waited until the last minute and now they're rushing to get their work done. I dropped Temp a line and said hello. Sorry I didn't write yesterday, but I ran out of stamps and I had to wait till today to buy some. I'll be glad when I get to the galley. I'm going to get even with those boys who serve me food. When I give them some potatoes or something, I'm going to throw it all over their tray. We had a big day yesterday and today. We had seven fights in all. This is the damnedest place I'd ever seen. There's not much to say. I weighed 118 pounds when I came in and now I'm at 135. Not bad, huh? Enclosed are some snapshots I took with the photomatic. If they look beat up, it's because I happened to wash them while they were in my shirt pocket. The ugly one is where I had my mouth full of smoke in my mouth when the red light came on so I hadn't blown it out. Well, I'll close now. Love, Lewis. June 9th, 1953. Dear folks, well I got that so-called sea bag. The package torn up that I just reached in and pulled the thing out without having to unwrap it. Why in the hell did you send me that two-bit thing? You know that I have the white sea bag of pops. That thing won't last one month away. I'll have to wash mine. As soon as I get some wrapping paper in a box, I'll send it home. I don't know what you'll do with it, but it's not worth a damn to me. Say there's... Are you going to send me my camera? Diddy bag, a little white bag, and some refills from our lighter? I need these things. Today we had another bag inspection. I didn't have anything wrong with mine. We also shot the 22 rifle. Tomorrow we'll go to the old training camp and shoot the M1. We'll spend all day there. I figured it up. And I have been away from home one month this last Saturday. Tomorrow is our 4 to 1 day, which means it's our first day of the fourth week. We will be glad to get out of this primary. We can wear anything but these dungarees, and they're ugly. 
in a week we wear the whites and in the day and the blues in the evening at least there'll be a change boy do we have a good fight just now i damn near had one this afternoon with my squad leader i told him he was the most stupid sob i ever knew and that is no lie i never saw such a place for fights there's one every night well i better close now love to everyone love lewis june 12th 1953 dear folks We've had our final primary bag inspection today. Again, I have nothing wrong with mine, but we failed it by 30 points, so they gave us the points anyway just to get us out of here. Yesterday, I lost my first point since I've been here. It was at personal inspection. They took five points off because I was wearing my rosary around my neck, and that damn fool CID inspector called it unauthorized jewelry. It made me so damn mad I started to tell the priest about it, but I decided it would do no good. We will move out of here Monday. We'll be in the regiment too now. Now we will wear our whites and blues from now on. No more dungarees for me. Today we're one of the companies in the runoff for the bean rag. We get to go to two chow early of three meals. And we won it. We flat worked for it after an hour and a half of drill. I got my first fight last night because I told a boy he marched like a, he had a cob up his ass. Well, he got mad, and I had to fight him. They say it was the best fight they have, we have had here yet. They called it a draw. I still call him Cobbass, and he doesn't say anything. He is a damn Yankee. Well, I better close. And closes a clipping of Barbara Murtha wanted back. Right soon, love, Lewis. Dear folks, we got good news today. We moved out of the regiment tomorrow. Instead of Monday, we will go to Regiment 3 instead of 2, like it was planned. Three is supposed to be the one that's easier than two. We won the bean reg yesterday and today both. That means we get six early chows. That's where I'll end for now and it'll be continued. Uh, I'm going to be doing this still page by page and about four pages each time I do it. Hopefully you guys enjoy yourselves and if there's any comments, suggestions, or anything that I can do hopefully a little better on, uh, I will. Uh, thank you for watching and have a good uh morning, evening, afternoon, or night, depending on where it is and what time you're watching this. Signing off.